What is up, gamers? Stagswell, back at it again today with another video. We were able to take down a skirmish with Briar. I think she is a very underrated hero right now. She kind of targets a lot of the decks in the meta. Uh, she struggles a little bit into ice, but two things. One, those heroes are about to rotate, and two, it's not really even that much of a struggle. It's like 50-50 at worst. It's really not that bad versus either of the ice decks. I made it work. You guys can make it work too. Uh, Briar just puts out entirely too much damage for any deck to reasonably deal with it. She's a broken hero right now, and I think you guys will be able to take down your uh, skirmishes with this hero. So let's just jump straight into the list here. Um, we are playing Graph, Crown, Snap, and Tunic into most matchups. This is our default lineup here, not much to say. Uh, you could switch the crown with uh, the other crown, the Crown of Dominion, and run a Royal package. There's definitely cards you could cut to do that. I chose not to because I was a little bit more afraid of Rangers and Briar Mirrors and things with a lot of on hits. Uh, but I didn't run into any of that, so I kind of do wish I would have played the Royal. Uh, but this was fine. Not a lot of regrets on it. Uh, Aether Iron Weave is only for the more aggressive matchups. Um, things you won't get three ticks on your tunic. You'll play Aether Iron Weave, so that's like the Ninjas or Briar Mirror or something like that. Maybe Chain. And then you're going to pack AB3 against Icelander. They have completely moved away from Wounded Bull and Fendal's Fighting Spirit. Uh, they just play Arcane Spells now, so you definitely want AB3 into that. Something to be aware of. Oh, so the whole reason... We are playing Briar is because we get to play Plunder Run. We get to play six of them. Pretty good card. Uh, it's banned in CC and it's banned in CC for a reason. Uh, another thing to think about when choosing this deck is the other heroes got hit in Blitz, right? So Oldham lost Crown of Seeds. Icelander lost, uh, what's it, Aether Ice Vein. I think she lost other cards as well. That might just be the only one coming to my mind at the moment. Uh, but yeah, these other heroes have gotten weaker from CC to Blitz, and Briar has only gotten stronger, right? She didn't lose anything, but she gains Plunder Run, best card in the game that not every hero can abuse, but Briar is the absolute best at abusing it. Um, so that's what we're looking to do in this deck. This this card is actually the reason you want to go first. If you ever win a dice roll and you win it, make a Rune Chant Arsenal this, and you should be winning that game. <laughs> it's quite good. Uh, so yeah, obviously all copies of Plunder Run we can play, we will play. And then for the attacks, two Sur Lightning Surge, two Ravenous Rabble, two Scar for Scar. Not a lot to say on these cards. Pretty standard. Uh, yeah, not a lot to talk about. And then we're playing two Coax, two Snatch. Again, not a lot to say on these cards either. Not a lot to talk about. Uh, we are playing one CNC. And the CNC, you don't need this card if you don't have one or if you can't afford one or you don't want to play it. That is fine. This could be switched with something like the Royal Package or Entwine Lightning or uh, Arcanek Shockwave. Like, there's so many cards that this card could be, so don't see it and think, like, oh, I need to play that card or anything, because you don't. Uh, to Exude Confidence, I was expecting a lot more Oldham and uh, Azalea, things like that. I thought I was going to be on block with three cards, attack with one card plan, which is a good plan that Briar does uniquely well. Um, but that wasn't quite the case. I was able to play all of my cards most of the time, so I kind of wish I had made this an Entwine Lightning or something like that. But this card's really supposed to be tailored toward your local meta. If you have a lot of, um, you know, Oldham, play this. If you have a lot of uh, Aggro Mirrors, play Entwine Lightning. Just kind of, you know, feel your local meta and switch that card out as needed. Uh, E-Strike, don't need to explain. Swarming, don't need to explain. The cards are all broken and great. Two Nimbleism, again, everyone plays that. Not a lot to talk about there. Two Sonata. Um, this card, I just want to say, do not just activate it raw if you can help it. You pretty much always want to be pitching into this because if you activate it raw and it whiffs, it's just such a bad card. So pitch into it if you can. If you pitch into it, you're really unlikely to be whiffing on it. Um, but yeah, it's still, when it hits, it is such a good card. <laughs> so you have to play it. It is kind of broken. I only play one press, and the reason for this is because if you draw it early and you attack and you press, get an on-hit through, whatever, whatever, um, your opponent's going to be playing around that second press for the rest of the game. It's going to be in their head. Do they have it? They're going to think, do I overblock? And uh, you don't even have one in your deck, so if they overblock, it's just all games from there, you know? <laughs> so it's just kind of a mind game. And if you draw it late, they don't know you have it, right? If you're 20 cards into your deck, they haven't seen a press yet. If you're 30 cards in your deck and they haven't seen a press yet... 
They might just assume you don't play it and you'll be able to get over the top for game. It's happened to me a couple of times. Um, so I think I love one of, but yeah, that's another card. If you want to replace CNC, you could just throw in a second press. It would be just fine. Uh, Tome, great card. Half an embodiment, replaces itself. Channel Mount Heroic, main card of the deck. I do want to talk about this because when people talk about Briar, they're like, oh, it's a high roll deck. You need Channel the Wind, da, 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 da. I only activated this card in one game. In one game all, all, all day, I activated this card. You don't need it to win. It's, uh, it's great when you get it, but it really is just the icing on the cake. The deck is just fine without it. I could throw these away and still win with Briar. Um, the fact that they block for four actually comes up more than activating them because, I mean, activating it and then getting an uncontested turn is just not something that happens a lot of the time, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, the fact that they block for four is still overrate. So either way, play it, activate it, block with it, whatever you want to do. This card is still very, very powerful. And, uh, you know, drawing this, you could run over any deck. Icelander doesn't have a card like this. Oldham doesn't have a card like this. There's no other card deck in the game that has an auto win card like Channel Mount Heroic. If you go first, you play this. Almost a guaranteed dub at that point. Um, yeah, not much more to say on it. I think everyone knows how broken that card is. Uh, we're just gonna go over our blues here. And we don't have a ton to say about this stuff, but Force of Nature is another one. It blocks for four. Most of the time, that's all you're doing with it. Um, but yeah, these are also all resource cards. I played a, a so tomorrow as well. Again, I expected a lot of Oldham. So I just want to be able to put cards back in my deck and kind of survive that fatigue game plan. Uh, but it didn't come up. I think that's probably because they don't have Crown of Seeds. They just can't do it as effectively. But this card is also just great in that it's almost like a Gorgonuan Tome. Replaces itself, draw a card. So I wasn't super upset with that pick. Oh yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I think the deck's great. I think you guys should give it a shot. We'll go out there and win yourselves an Azalea. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and help the algorithm help me out later gamers.